Hi guys, welcome down to the Monday Night Golf Show, questions and answers, and you might have seen in the main show, I am going solo today. So, I ask questions on my Facebook page. If you've not already liked my Facebook page, jump over to the link in the description, like the page so you get to ask your questions, follow us on all of our social media, uh, other platforms as well, because we do spread it about a little bit. Questions and answers. Now, I'm going to set myself a bit of a time limit. I'm going to go for five minutes and see if I can complete the questions and answers in five minutes. Okay, so five minutes, gonna be set on my phone, otherwise I will be here all day. Right, let's start off with Blue Mitchell Stevens. Hi Rick, as Pete is not there today, what do you think Pete should work on? Uh, or what do you think his weakest part of the game is? Wow. Uh, hashtag bring back the moose and eagle, uh, moose and eagle back, and will you be trying to new Hogan's? Um, Pete's, what is Pete's weakness? Pete has got loads and loads of strength in his game. I just feel like he needs to play a little bit more tournament golf and get rid of the technical side and just play. And he knows that and that's what he's going to work on. Uh, I'm going to be trying the new Hogan's. Yes, they are coming soon. I did try them briefly at, in Orlando, but a full review will be coming soon. Thanks for the question. Um, Alexander Joseph uh, Washabart. I've got no one here to correct me. Uh, hashtag Monday Night Golf Show, Q&A. Hi, Rick. Uh, I started golf last year, become better and better, thanks to your teaching videos and my golf pro. I increased my accuracy and my distance about 22 yards with my long clubs and mid irons, but not with my wedges. I'm accurate with them. Okay. Um, so wedges can be quite different. So what he's saying is added distance, but not particularly with his wedges. It depends on how you're adding distance. Let's say you're adding distance because you are increasing club head speed, but there's a level of flick coming into the shot. You might hit these super, super high flighted balls, which go a long way with something like a six or a seven iron because the air time, and if you hit it fast enough, you can get distance. If you start to flick with your wedges, there's already a lot of loft on. You add even more loft, and what happens when you increase speed is the ball just goes up more, doesn't particularly go forward. So I would be looking at changing your dynamic loft to get you hitting the ball forward more as opposed to up. That would be my guess from your circumstances there, Alexander. Uh, and can you put the music in the videos that you do? Yeah, I try and do my best to do that. Uh, Nick Chatterton Godby here, best name ever. Uh, Rick, morning Rick. After your current quest, how do you feel about you and Finchie having a pupil off? Okay. You select two of your followers with similar handicaps and devote time into improving them through lessons. Yeah, I like that idea. So it's almost like a, um, what was it called? Niles Barkley uh, project that, that Hank Haney did. Uh, that'd be quite cool. Um, yeah, stay tuned for that. I think that, that, could, that could work. That's got legs. Um, Gareth Burt. I'm looking at getting fitted for Callaway wedges, but I'm a bit stuck on which grind to select. Uh, duh, 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 duh. That's the main thing. So with grind selection, it's very much dependent on what you're going to be using that wedge for. Whether it's going to be a wedge that you're going to be using out of a bunker or in the in the fairway mostly, or you find that you a lot of the shots around the green are in rough, it very much depends on that situation. So I couldn't say which one's going to be best for you because it would be very, very difficult to say. If you're going to get a Callaway fitting, let the Callaway guy help you. If you're ever going to get a fitting for wedges, challenge the fitter about grind and what grind would best suit you. They are the experts. They know best. Great question. Thank you very much, Gareth. Uh, Brett Stevens. I was a high handicapper, 31, when I bought my Ping G30s last year. I'm now a 13 handicapper, but still playing the same clubs. Can you t continue to play these figure nines right down to single figures? Yes, would be my question. 100% yes. Ping G30s. Lee Westwood was using G range not so long ago. I think he's just moved to the I um, ping eyes, but he's been using G range for a long time. You can become as good as you possibly can, even with chunky irons. Yes, you can, 100%. I don't see there's anything different. I think the better as you get a player, just visually you like to see a bit more of a blade. But performance wise, you can still play well with forgiving irons, 100%. Um, Tom Hacker, if you had just three rounds of golf, what courses would you choose and why? Uh, da, 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 and you had the choice of one current touring pro and then two others who could be anyone. Who would they play with? Right, so three rounds of golf, where would I play? Augusta, uh, da, 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 Pebble Beach, and somewhere like 
um, oh, what's that called? Um, oh, my goodness, time's running out. I'm going to pause the, the timer just for a minute. What is that golf course called in New Zealand? One second. Google, <laughs> inform me, Cape Kidnappers. If you've not seen this golf course, I'll throw up an image now, it looks amazing. So for me, Augusta Pebble Beach, um, oh, I could have said Sawgrass actually, but no, I'm not gonna do. And then Cape Kidnappers, I think that would be the ones. Oh, let me start the timer again. Um, who would I play with? I would play with Tiger, Rory, John Spieth. Why would you not? Perfect combination. Um, right. Da, 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 da. Daniel Wood, from golfers you have done vlogs with, name of your YouTubers, who? From the golfers you have done vlogs with, name of your YouTubers, who? Long game, okay. Right, so who would, who would I pick? Long game, whose long game would I pick of all the YouTubers I've played with? Um, right, time is up, but I've started, so I will finish. Who would I, who would I have as my, the driver of the ball? Can I include me or not? Because I'm driving it incredibly well at the moment. Who would be the best driver? Let's go with... I'm going to go with Finchie for the driving. So Finchie would be my, my driver. Uh, iron play... Who's the best iron player I've played with? Someone like Matt Fryer is a pretty good iron player. So you have played Matt Fryer is a pretty good iron player. A short game... Um, I would go with wedge play. Ugh, wedge play. Probably Carter for wedge play. Just not putting for Carter. No way. Putting, I would potentially go with um, Andy from Me and My Golf. He's the best putter I've played with. Uh, you would have. And I think that's it. He's put Carter putting, question mark, question mark, question mark. No, definitely not, Dan. Um, so I'd go long game. I think Finchie. I am play, I think, Fryer. Short game. Mm, I don't know if it would be Carter. Piers has pretty, got a pretty good short game. I'll tell you what, who had got a good short game, Buzzer. Buzzer's putting, actually, was really good. When I played with Steve Buzzer, his putting was exceptional. Uh, oh, God, this is a tough question. Right, let me start again. Long game, Finchy. I am play, I think, Matt Fryer slash Piers Ward from me and my golf. Short game, Carter, slash, James Picard was good as well. Oh, that short game, that's a tough one. Yeah, I think short game, Picard, slash Carter. Putting would be Andy, from me and my golf, and um, Stephen Buzzer. I think that's right. Long game, driving would be me. I'm a very good long gamer at the moment. Guys, thank you very much for, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, Apologise, it's a shorter version of the Monday Night Golf Show, not like the 30-minute Eagle Moose episode we had last week. Crazy. Um, but I've got a very, very, very busy schedule. I've got lots to do, um, lots of videos to create for you guys. So it's not as if I'm just going swan and off. I've got lots of videos to create for you. I've got Rob Potter coming down. We're going to do some 13 handicap club testing, which we've not done for a while. I've got loads of videos to come up. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the Monday Night Golf Show as a solo artist today. Uh, thanks for watching. You've been amazing as always. And we shall see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to Quest Golf Channel. Subscribe to me. Subscribe to Finch It and Normal Service. We'll be back on next week with me and Finch. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you next week.